Hello my YouTube family. This is Anthony and I'm here with a quick little project share. Um, I want to show you some of the items I've been working on and then I will quickly show you how I put together uh, some paper clips. But first I'll start with this love sign. I painted it black then I took one of the the little uh, picks with the hearts on it they come three in a package and I pulled the pick out of it the stick and glued it there first I attached a uh, paper um, heart I didn't finish the back because it's not going to show anyway I may hang a little hook here to hang it or you can just uh, set it up but anyway I I heard a paper heart behind this onto the butterfly so that this glittered heart would stick and then here is a glittered heart that I cut out and I attached it to the other butterfly and then I added two different ribbons to make uh, to turn this into a Valentine's decoration for my home uh, also, I have been working on these little banners using up scraps. I just took some twine and uh, made these little banners. And these could be used to embellish uh, handmade cards. You can put them on your pocket letters, flip books, whatever. You can make them small or long. You can add as many banners as you would like to that. And then I made some more cupcake liner embellishments. So I made this one here with the little owl and the foam hearts and another die cut heart back there. And this little piece hanging there. And this and these have been coming in handy for my pocket letters and my cards. Just using stickers and cut out hearts, ribbon, whatever you have on hand you can make some cute Valentine's embellishments. So also I've been working on paper clips. Now I hauled in uh, my last Dollar Tree haul some barrettes that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I my idea was to turn them into paper clips and that is what I did here. So these are the flowered ones. They're very easy to make. And I did make a few of the butterfly ones. And all I did was put a little um, little dot. And these I made myself out of uh, pony beads. I melted them down in the oven and made a bunch of different color ones. So and I've been using those just to put on the backs of my paper clips and there's a little butterfly so real quick I will show you how I put those together first I'd like to show you this is my little container here that I put my barrette pieces in I have some oh, some bows here now these I picked up at a, a hair store where you can purchase uh, beauty supplies and hair supplies so I just cut the backs off of the uh, barrettes and put them in there so they will be ready to go when I'm ready to use them so there's that and also I have buttons here because sometimes I use buttons on the backs of my paper clips and these are the little, um, they're like enamel dots, but these are made, like I said, out of the pony beads. So that's what I put those in. So first off, you need your, your barrette. You need a paper clip and whatever you're going to use on the back. You can use cardstock, uh, felt, 
whatever you want to finish off the back. So I'm going to use the pony bead, the green paper clip, and this flower. And what I do is just take my scissors to cut the barrette end off. And then there's a little notch there. I just clip that off. Oops, if I can stop dropping it. And then I just add a dab of hot glue and my paper clip. And then you make sure that you have the little loop down at the bottom. And I just glue that on and then I add some more glue on top. And then I add my dot. Be careful, you know the glue is hot. Add my little enamel dot. And let it dry. Now you can add to this. You can add a ribbon or a little bow. You can add some bling in the center to decorate those up. Then I have this little small butterfly and this time I'm going to use a button. It's a little lavender button and then I have a small lavender paper clip. So I just put a dab of glue there. Grab my paper clip stick it on there. I like to put a little glue on top of that paper clip just to make sure that it's secure in between. I want to say thank you to everyone for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. I thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.